So Vase is the best CSGO team out at the moment. They won Katowice fairly easily and then they went on to win the ESL Pro League season 15 as well. They pretty much have three superstars in Brokey, Robs and Twists. Then they also have Rain who is able to pop off at pretty much any time. And let's not forget Carrigan who is the best in-game leader at the moment. So we are gonna react to their setups and I will rate them as well. And of course we will also check out their grip styles and mouse settings. Quickly before we start, let's remember that Face is sponsored by Steel Series, and you will see that with some of the gear. Starting with Twists, the Canadian superstar, he is using the Steel Series Prime Neo Noir which is a little bit surprising. Not the best mouse in the game by any means, the Prime series is struggling with click latency. I also do not like the click feeling but that's pretty much personal preference. For mousepad he is using the Vaxi PB which is of course an insanely good mousepad. I suspect that the silicone base will be very good for professional gamers because it should stick to almost any surface so there shouldn't be any issues with the mousepad moving around on your desk at LAN tournaments. His monitor is the Zawi XL2546K which is of course a very very good monitor. Pretty much every CSGO tournament is using a BenQ Zawi monitor so the pros should be using these as well. And then for keyboard he is using the Apex Pro which is of course one of the better keyboards for gaming but not as good as the booting 2HD of course. Then on to mouse settings and twists is using 400 dpi and his sensitivity is 1.4 which then means that he is using 560 edpi so the sensitivity is very low. For any other game than CSGO and Valorant I think this is way too low but for CSGO this this will definitely work. Twist is using this weird kind of grip which is pretty much the same as I do with some mice. So his palm is resting on top of the mouse and his fingers are resting quite far up front of the mouse. Apparently he started to use this grip style with the Razor Deather because it was too large for him. I have a very overextended claw grip. I'm kind of known for having a, a pretty weird grip. You see my middle finger is over the right mouse button and my pointer finger is always hovering above mouse one. It's not just because I'm in the main menu or anything, I actually, it's always like this. I never actually have my finger on the mouse button. And the reason my mouse grip is like this is because in 2017, when I joined Team Liquid, uh, I was forced to switch from smaller mice to a bigger mouse because uh, Team Liquid had a Razor sponsorship at the time and I had to, move, I had to switch to Death Adder. And it's, it's a pretty big mouse and clawing it isn't always viable. So basically he figured out his grip style when he had to adapt to the death adder. And that makes a lot of sense for me. Let's move on to Rain and he is using the G Pro X Superlight. Of course one of the best options for any professional gamer in any game. For mousepad he is using the QCK Heavy and I think it's actually quite good. It has good stopping power and some static friction which can help of course when you're holding corners in tag FPS. The only issue is durability but that's not really an issue for pro players as sponsors do send these mousepads for them all the time. His monitor is the XL2540 from PenQ and not surprised at all here. And keyboard then again the SteelSeries Apex Pro TKL. Great setup and there is not much to improve here in my opinion. For mouse settings he is using 4 400 dpi, 1.65 cents, and his edpi is 660. So at least his sensitivity is higher than with twists and I think this is a little bit more optimal and quite normal for TAC FPS players. Sadly I couldn't find that many pictures about Rain's grip style but it seems to be a relaxed claw or a palm grip. Either one of these two or any hybrid between them is the most popular grip style among CSGO pros. Palm grip does lack some mobility but you quite rarely need to pull out 180 degree turns in CSGO. Then we got the in-game leader Carrigan and he is using again the Logitech G Pro X Super Light, the QCK Heavy Mousepad, the XL2540 Monitor and the Apex Pro TKL. So the exact same setup as with Rain, of course, again a very very good setup. And for mouse settings, again we have 400 dpi, 1.6 cents and edpi is almost the same as with Rain. So the settings are pretty much the exact same and so is the grip style, so I wonder who is copying who. Then we got Brokey and again the G Pro X Superlight, QCK Plus mousepad so not exactly the same, the XL2546 monitor and Apex 7 TKL keyboard. Not much to complain but maybe he should upgrade the keyboard to Apex Pro TKL. For mouse settings we finally have a little bit higher EDPI so 760 which is still not high by any means, but at least a little bit higher and I think this is still lower than the average CSGO Pro EDPI. DPI 400 and sense 1.9. Brokey seems to be using quite standard kind of palm grip even with the GPX. Again hard to tell from these pictures but it seems to be palm or a very relaxed claw with a lot of palm contact. 
Lastly, we got the new guy on the roster, so Robs, and he's absolutely insane. He's the only guy in this lineup to use the EC2, which is of course a very popular CSGO mouse. For mousepad, he's again using a QCK and the XL2546K monitor. And for keyboard, the Apex 7 TKL, maybe again he should think about upgrading the Apex Pro TKL. But it wouldn't make a massive difference, of course. His EDPI is a little bit lower than with Brokey, but it's still higher than with Twists at least. Rob seems to be claw group in the EC2, but again with some pictures it looks more like a relaxed claw, and then with others it seems more like an aggressive claw. His pinky and ring finger are quite curled in a few of these pictures, so I would say it's a claw group myself. And that's it for the setups, settings and grip styles, let's do a bit of a conclusion. Nothing to really complain about the setups, they could upgrade the mouse pads, but we have to remember that SteelSeries is sponsoring phase. And it most likely means that they are forced to use at least some SteelSeries gear. Mouse pad and keyboard are the easiest bets with SteelSeries. We've seen Twist switch mice quite a lot in the past, he has been using the easy to the Vaxi outs at AEX and the Superlight at least. He was using the Superlight at Katowice, but at ESL Pro League he was using the SteelSeries Prime. The shapes are of course entirely different between these two mice, and it would be the best for him to just stick with one mouse long term. It will help with consistency for sure. One thing that I also want to point out is that Rob should switch the ec 2 c which is of course the exact same mouse, it's just lighter in weight and has a better cable. Those two features alone are worth the upgrade in my opinion. The best setups have to be with Carrigan and Rain, as they do have the Super Light, the QCK Heavy, and the Apex Pro TKL. I'm not actually quite sure what's the difference with the XL2540 and the XL2546K, but they might want to upgrade their monitor for the XL2546K. Of course, the difference will be very, very minimal if they choose not to use Dayak. But that's pretty much it for this one. Check these videos right here for some reviews about these peripherals that we just checked out. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and see you in the next one.